What's up guys, this is Dr. Cloud welcome in for episode number 7 of Xenoverse. And I just need to start this off with a couple uh, news updates. So, for starters, I just want to welcome in everyone who has came to the channel recently. Because we've had a huge growth here recently, like almost at 400 subs now, which that's really cool. It's going to slide that sub bar in really cool. That's great. Welcome in everyone. Hope you enjoy what we're doing. Um... You came in at kind of like an awkward point of the channel when, you know, we're uh, figuring some stuff out right now, or at least I am. Uh, so, updates. Um, at the beginning of April, I am going to be transitioning to a new job. So, that new job has less, um, I'm going to say consistent hours. So, streams are going to be a little bit... They'll be there. They just won't be like consistent or anything at the moment. Um, that's probably the biggest change because I hope to be keeping up like recorded stuff because I can do that at any point and have that like uh, ready for you guys. So that's not a big issue. But um, I'm hoping that that will also, you know, uh, <clears throat> give me more time maybe to work on stuff because I'll have more like varied time to do stuff. Sorry, I got a cat that's trying to um, also lay here with me as I do recording. Um, <clears throat> but if I think of anything else, I will let you guys know because I just put in my two weeks at my current job. So that's all. I keep looking like a lot lower and I'm sorry. Uh, that's where I'm used to the camera being. I'm still getting used to the new camera and having a higher angle point. Uh, let's go ahead and hey, you can actually see my dog goes butt like right over my shoulder. Um, I'm gonna go and do a team recap for myself as well as you guys. So <clears throat> we got Lily the Oddish on the Miracle Seed, got Mega Drain, Growth Acid, and Sleep Powder. Got Pinhead, our last survivor of the original set of team with a focus band with Poison Sting, Fury Attack, Harden, and String Shot. Got Fisher the Sandy Gas with a spell tag with Mega Drain, Astonish, Sand Tomb, and Harden. Got Neon, the D D D what's your name, Ghastly, with Lick, uh, Confuse Ray, Hypnosis, and Payback. And we got Wave, the Grimer, with Pound, Poison Gas, Disable, and Mudsop. And we got Hermie, I don't know what Pokemon this is. <laughs> Reindeer, uh, with Fairy Wind, Draining Kiss, Play Nice, and Attract. I remember I caught something in the last episode that I was going to switch onto the team instead of the Grimer, but it's been a little bit since I recorded, so I don't remember what that thing is. So once I get to a Pokemon Center, I will go check that out. Um, so oh. Oh yeah, this is like a new encounter too. I remember now a little bit. <clears throat> Did I get an encounter here last time though? I kind of want to wait and like see if i can figure that out um after i get to the next da, 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 town sorry my brain's like foggy a little bit um i'm kind of still kind of waking up a little well not waking up oh that's a big boy and he had like fart noises going on. what is that it's like a like a really fat koala with like elvis hair that's a whole thing going on there. I'm gonna try to sleep powder it. Man, this thing's got so much going on. It's got like a gem in its stomach. It's not nice type. It's it's got like like they're not they're not like buck teeth. They're kind of like your canines, but like they're rounded for this thing. Man, there's a lot going on here. Oh man, it's kind of like. It's kind of like if you took Snorlax and made him like a regional form, but mixed him with like more more koala aspects, I guess. My word, look at this thing. I can't focus on anything else. It's such like a, such an interesting design. Like it's not badly designed at all. It's actually so intricately designed. I just want to keep looking at it and talking about it. My word, this thing. Plus, it's cry. It sounds like a, just a giant fart. Like, like there's a guy who's been like sitting on a couch for a long time. He's learning Giga Drain level at 20. That's insane. All right, so we're gonna learn Giga Drain. <sighs> sounds like 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 a fat guy's been like laying on a couch for like days, 
and just been drinking like Mountain Dew and just like leans over and just <laughs> that's what that sounds like to me. <clears throat> that thing gave me a ton of experience too. Um, I'm gonna say no to spite. This doesn't seem like a game I'm really gonna need spite. My word though, that thing just worth so much experience. Oh yeah, give me sludge. Um, that's special. You're more of a physical attacker. I'm gonna give you sludge over mud slap. I can see pound still being useful. Hey, look at that rising star. Like I've almost got that uh, accomplishment done. I'm like halfway. Uh, little is actually about to evolve, which is pretty cool. I'll have to do a um, timestamp for that, which that might happen like while I'm on this bridge because I don't know how long this bridge is. Look, it's regular Elekid. Yo, I miss my fire Elekid so much. I bet Giga Drain actually one-shots this thing, right? Maybe if it didn't raise its special defense right now. I'm getting a text message. I'm gonna probably have to uh, answer that once again. Sorry. <clears throat> I feel like I'm talking a lot and it uh, I'm not getting enough air into my lungs, so it's fighting back. Oh, this guy's got a whole thing going on. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna match black and white gloves here because you can't match for some reason. <clears throat> Don't you dare play dumb with me. Spit it out. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about, I swear. Stupid nerd, you are useless as this earring. Wait, what? You are as useless as this ear. Is Are they saying earring? Like, is, is earring one word? I, I actually don't know. Out of my way, human. Bleh. Oh, cool. What did that thug throw away? Hey, you're a trainer, aren't you? That guy has lost this thing. I don't really know what to do with it, so you can keep it. It kind of looks like a berry, honestly. <laughs> like an apricot berry? Apricots aren't berries, are they? So an apricot? <laughs> oh, maybe it doesn't. It's clear. Now that troublemaker is gone, I better get back to my work. Cool. Uh, looks like I'm right here at this town now, which is sweet. Oh. You stupid jerks, turn around and get out of this campus. Hey, kid. What are you doing alone again? Wait, what? What are you doing alone against the fearsome team dimension? Is that supposed to be like a Pikachu X species on her head? Hey, you, are you a Pokemon trainer? I could use help teaching these two thugs a lesson. Fighting together, we can beat them in no time. Are you in? Yeah, sure, I mean, why not? You asked for it, noobs. Ooh, okay. Huh. Sorry, um, I just got a message about, um, someone who apparently, like, they use, like, all of the, uh, gas heating in their house, um, because apparently, like, I mean, um, if you're, like, too far out of the reach of, like, uh, a city limits, then you have a certain amount, because I think you have, like, a gas tank. Uh, and apparently they used all theirs, like, just in the last, like, winter, essentially, which has only been, like, three to four months. So, it must have been, like, pretty cold in comparison to what it has been. That's a, like, Blimgrim. Oh, this thing. Okay. Uh, I know this thing's a Steel-type. Does Grass... I forget if Grass, um, is resisted by Steel. I'm gonna find out right now. This thing's also level 13, so it might not even matter. 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for the three fur and just like take it out. Just don't wake up. Hey, let's go. We take no damage on that one. I might be a little bit over leveled, but I think that's kind of the point of the mode of the game I chose is like the modern version. Which in most modern games, like the experience shares are a little bit unfair, I think. <laughs> you won, but we're not going to leave this campus that easily. They left, though. Uh, okay, anyways. Thanks a lot for your help. What a strange way to meet someone. I'm Alice, and this is my dear friend Pikachu. Hey, I was right. Nice to meet you. Oh, huh. I can hope there's a male version of that that looks like a little bit different. I don't know how different though. As you can see, it's not like the Pikachu that we that we are used to knowing. Reading hard. <clears throat> Y'all are say that it comes from another world. That's incredible, don't you think? They say it is impossible to establish a friendly relationship with these Pokemon. But this doesn't apply to me and my lovely Pikachu. We're like sisters. Fun. Ow. Me and my grand standing again. And what's your name? Cloud. Such a nice name. Wait. Arr, woo. Who were those strange guys, you say? You see, I've come this far to visit the immense library here. Library, I'm sorry. The immense library here in Neutron Town. I've come here to burp in your face, apparently. But I hear the Team Dimension has seized everything up. Lots of campus students are prisoners of those criminals. That's awful. Just to think about... Wait, what? Just to think about it gives me the chills. We're apps... Wait, what? We're apps... We apps... I think I forget where... We absolutely need to do something. I'm gonna chase those two thugs. You deal with the others here on campus. Anyway, I've enjoyed fighting by your side. It's not every day that you run into such a pretty trainer. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can find a Pokemon Center. Nope. I doubt very highly they blocked off the Pokemon Center, right? Right? They 100% did. Ah, oh, it means I gotta pay money. Or maybe not. Hold on. Uh, what's going on here? Everyone keeps calling me Nurse Joyce. You can guess why. Okay, cool. So I can rest my Pokemon here with her. But I can't pull a new Pokemon out, which is a little annoying. I think I'm just gonna pay the 500 and oh wait, it's a free service they just said. Uh, I would like to use the boxes. Oh, a Bergmite. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna place him with or get Grimer off the team because I have too many poison types. I have one, two, three still. Um, I just need to check where I caught him to make sure I can get an encounter on Route 4. Heck yeah, I can. And if I can't, then you guys will let me know that I can't. But I'm going to run back and get that encounter before we move on in the town because, you know, I want to have some more mons trained up potentially. All right. Route 4, that's another Bergmite, so I don't have to catch that because we already got a Bergmite. Oh, I also uh, went to KFC today. Pretty good. Got some popcorn chicken. Um, and I also, I, I was thinking I was supposed to get a biscuit, but they didn't give me one. But like, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Cause like, I still get to enjoy, uh, you know, like some mashed potatoes and gravy. I got a cookie. Can I catch anything besides Berkmite here? I imagine there's like at least one other thing, right? I'm sure it's also still gonna be an ice type, which is a little bit annoying, but maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be like that big old like koala thing. 
So apparently I am shiny hunting Bergmite right now. That's what I'm getting out of this right now. I mercy. You're messing with my lights. Can you, can you like maybe like go lay down? Mercy. Go on. Cats, man. They're always so curious. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Like, this thing here is taking... Their weasel here? What an interesting mon to find here. Like, out of all the mons, I never thought it was going to be a weasel. I mean, I guess uh, it's kind of nice that it's not a nice type because hail will weaken it. Um, but on the same side, uh, hail will weaken it, and that means I'm on a timetable. Got my KFC cup still. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Don't even have to worry about that. All right, let's pull up the trusty keyboard tray loudly as always. Um, I think I'm just gonna be like a little bit basic. It spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through the water. The tails also slice clinging seaweed. Hmm. All right, let's get the nickname action going. And I'm gonna name him. I was gonna name him. I'm gonna name him Tailspin. Just like that, uh, old er, uh, show that. I'm gonna check if this is free too. No, okay, this one is not free. It's like that older show that I think that came out in the 90s, early 2000s, uh, where they took a bunch of like Disney Channel uh, animal characters and they just kind of mash them together and put different storylines in i think that was a really fun thing that they did <sighs> all right let's grab this weasel out um i think i'm gonna go ahead and replace the b drill i think ghastly is a ghost type like i know i have two ghost types but like ghastly is such a different ghost type from sandy gas you know um Okay, I thought I was going to be able to just take the item off, but I guess not. Hold on. Give me your item. I named that Bergmite Snow Day. I didn't notice that. I'm just going to go ahead and like timestamp the team change. I think I actually missed the Bergmite change, but I'll probably get it right in editing because I think I always do, you know? Because I, I know, like, what I want to do, uh, but whether I remember or not is always the question. There we go. Uh, I really want to give you guys, like, items and stuff. You only have, like, fairy moves, so I can't really help you a lot. Like, an attracting grass knot, neither of them are very helpful. Uh, no one has rock-type moves. I doubt anyone has fire-type moves. I guess I'm gonna focus band, but like, other than that, I don't really have much. I'm gonna give it to the Ghastly in case I need him. Other than that, like, I'm gonna check out. I think you have Ice Body. Yeah, you have Ice Body. You don't even have a water type move, you just have Sonic Boom. You really need to be like trained in the background for now. Uh, I think other than that, though, like, there's really much I can do. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to move forward then. Because this is what you're supposed to do. And then I get a gloom here after this battle. Like I said, I'm pretty sure my Oddish is overleveled at the moment. So it's called a Pupleon. I feel like it's going to be a ghost type. Is it anything else? Well... I guess I'm not going to figure that out. Ah, oh, bro, I'm so close to leveling up. I think I might go ahead and switch. Ghastly's my next closest to leveling up, so I'm just going to start training him. 
That's pretty much how I'm going to work this for right now, is whoever's closest to leveling up. Um... Ooh, mini Pokemon Mart. I got this pearl. What do you got? Got potions. How many potions do I have? I got six. It's not bad. Uh, you do have, I can't buy grape balls now, which that's nice. I don't feel like I'm gonna need anything for encounters though right now. Uh there's like some bikes over here. I don't like this. I feel like I'm oh, okay. I was worried about going the potentially like right way and not getting to explore, like how I went the right way in that like shipwreck forest and I wasn't able to explore the whole forest. Like I'm still kind of mad about that because I'm I'm such an explorer whenever it comes to these kinds of games. Like I just want to see what everything is. Um, is this technically a new area? Okay, apparently I can't get access to the grass anyways right now, so I don't think it really matters. Nope, does not matter. Where are you going, human? Uh, is that how you spell the word sergeant? I'm just gonna say sir. No, I don't think it is. I don't know, sir. I feel like I want to say surge. Sir, sergeant? Man, whatever. Uh, don't want buzz kills in their way. I feel like I need to, like a thing to say that word for me, so I know how to say it. All right, all right, all right. I just noticed their belts have like um. <sighs> Look at that! I'm actually glad I switched. Their belts have like um sound waveforms on them which is kind of cool oh you have bite oh i guess i am glad that i gave you the focus band um it might have poison type attack it has bite i kind of look i mean i think this thing actually kind of like walls my team at the moment um hit yourself a Oh wow, that did a lot. Uh, let's go... I have to go Astonish, pretty much. Oh, you're faster than me. And you didn't go for Bite, interesting enough. Very interesting. Hey, there's Lily's last level. Uh, it's that Steel type again. This time... I know confidently that you're a steel type, so I can use my ground type move on you. And I think it's probably gonna one shot you, to be honest. Yeah. Especially with a crit. That's the only level like 13 right now. Like, I really shouldn't be struggling, but I kind of am a little bit. Because, like, I'm trying to train up like a Ghastly, and Ghastly just has nothing going for it. Alright, let's go. This is my first, like, evolution since B Drill that I got right at the beginning of the game. And timestamp. Hey, look at that. Pretty old gloom. Alright, so a neon out front, so I need to watch that. We don't want neon going down. I just realized now that I forgot to read his dialogue, but Um Right Do I have Levitate? If I have Levitate, I don't think the Scrimer can touch me right now. I do. Okay, I don't think it's learned Sludge yet. So I actually don't think Grimer can touch me. I'm gonna find out real quick, though. Okay. Uh, let's go... Let's go Lick. Let's see if I can get the paralysis. Nope. Ooh, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. Let's go for Payback. Yep, I was 100% right. He could not touch me. Fortunately, I can't really touch a Sneasel, but Hermie can.
Come at me, Sneasel. Rain and kiss. Fun fact, actually, I was thinking about, uh, well, not thinking about it, um, I've actually had this issue the last few days, um, where I'm pretty sure my furnace isn't working properly, so I called in, and I'm still waiting on a, like, a response about, uh, my furnace, and I'm just like, does it really take that long to get back to me about a furnace? Like, a furnace is pretty important for a house to have, you know? Alright, so I guess that's what we're doing, which is really annoying. I get the paralysis? Nope. Alright, it's fine. Well, let's go payback. I think the animations for moves is a little bit strange. Like, Astonish and Lick, I'm pretty sure are the exact same. Alright, I'm gonna run back and heal Neon, because I'd really like to be able to use Neon in this fight. Playing in this mode really feels like I could just, uh... <clears throat> I could probably just solo in this mode with, like, a pretty strong, uh, Pokemon, like my Gloom, and be completely fine, which is kind of lame. And I don't believe it's a setting that I can adjust, so... Let's see. Nope. That is not a setting that I can change. Um, you feel like you need your starter? What? They force you to bring your starter into places? That's so dumb. Why would they force your starter? Kind of explains, I guess, a little bit as to why this is free. I mean, it's not like I wouldn't be using my starter if I had the option. All right, um, get off, weasel. I'll come back for you. Yes, Sophie? Kind of weird, they force you to have your starter in your party. I don't think there's really anything else to this other than just battling straight out, which, you know, you know, that's fine. Alright. <clears throat> Dang it, another Zubat. Alright. Let's try to switch to Fisher again. Hmm, how's your defenses? They're good, I just don't think they're that good. No. They're good for his level. If he was like on par with everyone else, then I think they, I'd probably be fine to switch him in. But for now, I gotta let Fisher take this hit. Okay, well at least I know I love crit. Uh, let's just go for the Astonish. It's so interesting that he switches to Astonish. Pretty sure I still love a crit with Bite. Nice. Yeah, the thing is, like, Zubats aren't even worth the experience right now. I mean, both of those are special, so it's not gonna help this guy, because I'm pretty sure he's all physical. I uh, didn't see what it was, but I'm switching into Neon regardless. Ah. Uh, well, let me see if I can confuse you. Pretty sure thing works payback pretty early on. Hey, look at that. Knowing a Pokemon's moveset. <clears throat> Um, but since I don't want Neon to die, Hermes got this. I really like the name Hermie for this guy. 
I think it's very fun. Just because, like, you know, you base it off of, uh, you know, an old claymation cartoon. I think that makes it very fun. You know what I think about this just now, but I bet Hermie evolves pretty soon, too. Maybe I'll use Hermie. Well, it seems like a lot of them are leading Zubats. I think that's kind of my problem right now, is I keep having to switch around. really hate that. I know you're not gonna, like, heal me or anything, so, like... kinda need to go back and heal each time at this point. Because you're doing so much damage to, like, Neon. And Fisher for that matter. Uh, I am going to start leading Herming. I feel like I'm not even going to be able to use Neon until like he learns a better move than Lick. I mean, I guess it's going to be Shadow Ball, essentially. I don't think there's a, another like really good special ghost type move that like the Ghastly Line gets early on. <clears throat> I'm thinking about it now. I'm trying to think if I can think of another special ghost type move. Uh, uh, what is another special ghost type move? I guess there's ominous wind, but like, pretty sure that line doesn't get that move. This episode's probably gonna be a little bit longer, but I think we're already like into this. We might as well finish it. I feel like I'm setting myself up pretty well. Okay, well, that's a bad matchup for Hermie. Um, I want to go Attract, but Attract has not benefited me at all. It's just hurt me. Alright, we're taking that. I really hate how it doesn't reset and move you back to, like, the fight. Ooh, you have Poison Touch. Oh... That's why it does so much damage. Because you're poison steel. That makes so much more sense. Also, it explains the colors, too. Oh, that was your only Pokemon. I always forget. Oh, yep. I was going to say I always forget if, uh... Poison damage is the thing. I was trying to remember the word. I was like, what is the word? I was figuring out which one of these costs more money. If it's antidotes cost more or potions cost more. I'm gonna go antidote. Uh, I wish there was an easier way for me to heal, but if I use all the potions, then I'm not gonna have money for like balls or anything later on. And I feel like encounters might get, you know, a little bit crazier. See that football guy hiding down there behind those guys? Between two of those guys? Two lions of those guys? But he's a linebacker too. Ooh, no, wait. If he's a quarterback, that actually makes more sense because then he would be behind the line anyways. So he's behind both lines. That's fun. Uh, I think they have both steel and poison, pretty much. So I think I'm gonna lead Fisher. Which, as long as they don't throw out, like a crowbat, then I'm pretty good. Look over there, B. <clears throat> uh, that's what we're looking for. You sure, A? Eh? It looks like a brick to me. What's the matter with you, stupid Jung? This sacred object enshrines a limitless power. Ahem. Hey, A. Eh? Stop interrupting me. Don't you see I'm... Oh, they have exclamation points on their faces. Okay. Ho oh, ho! Looks like we got company, Roger. Okay, and we have other faces. That's what I was trying to say, brother. I think that's just a fan of ours, Roger. What? You want an autograph or something? Let's be quick. We're busy right now. Hey, be unch of junk. 
that's not how to relate with your fans. You really didn't learn anything from Daddy's songs, Roger. Okay. <clears throat> what? Don't you really know who we are? I told you to waste no time with this dude. A. We are a sir. Shut up, B. I'm the one who makes introductions here. A. As authority. B. As bravery. A and B. Team Dimensions Legacies. Roger. Oh, they like fist bump. That's fun. What's going on down here? You guys are having a party. Gosh, I keep trying to read like that. <laughs> you guys are having a party and you didn't invite me? I... <laughs> I'm Ginger, Neutron City's gym leader. This building is not simply a library, it's a sacred- I said library again. I know how to say the word. Library. You've abused our patients and our campus too much. I'm sick of you. Get out of here. Come on, go get him, Ginger. Go, go, Grambles. Ginger's the coolest. Alright, cool. What? 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 Gosh, I'm trying to say these uh, slander words. What about you, haircut? Are you with them? I've never seen you on campus. Bah, whatevs. Who are you, clowns? If you were not gonna beat it, we're gonna beat you. Look, brother, there's another human who doesn't know us, Roger. Don't worry, I'm going to deal with this boogie. Boogie Blondie now, okay. That's the spirit brother. Take, let's take them out. Why don't you shut, oh, okay, shut up. Even though this time you're, you're right, Roger. Oh boy. <sighs> Do you really have the seal to fight me, clowns? You must be kidding. Get him, Ginger. Go, go, Grambles. Show him who's boss, Ginger. I hate the name Ginger. Hey, haircut. If you don't... If you really don't want to get out, do me a favor and give me a hand. Don't worry. If you are in trouble, I'll kick them back to the circus. But first, let me heal your Pokemon. These two seem too confident to me. And now let's go get them. Thank you, finally. Jeez. Ginger the gym leader, man, like, oof. I don't know if that's been wrong the whole time. I just wanna... Okay. Alright. Do... Okay. Got a shiny Ponyard. Uh, I made the right choice tonight. You also didn't make the right choice. Like, this... Sandy Cat's still my best bet for fighting Ponyards. Does he have sturdy? Wait, what happened? Wait, 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 what happened? That... That Pontier took no damage. What happened? This feels like a fight I'm supposed to lose. Um... This definitely feels like a fight I'm supposed to lose. Yeah, this is 100% a fight I'm supposed to lose. Okay then. So I guess, you know, we just we just lose all of our Pokemon here because they're uh, apparently going to outspeed us every time. Oh, no, they won't, but I'm still pretty sure this is a scripted fight. Just judging by the fact that they're one-shotting every Pokemon I have. You must be way heavier than what I think you are. I would believe it for most of them, or a lot of them, that they'd get one-shotted. But I feel like... I I'm fairly confident it's scripted just because of the way things are going right now. Ah, 
I also don't know what was so important about bringing your starter here. Also, why did the gym leader only have one Pokemon? And why did he heal me if we're just gonna lose? There's so many, like, weird choices to me. Yeah, okay. Definitely a fight you're supposed to lose. Gah! Boss, are you okay? Ginger's Halucha has been defeated. If he used his other Pokemon, he would have damaged the library as well. Calm down, guys. Halucha and I are fine. That was close. This dude really saved my skin. Wait, what? If it wasn't for him, those Pawniards would have beaten me in a while? You still don't shut your mouth, huh? Don't worry. Now, we do it for you. Pawniard, take him out, Roger. You'd better remember our faces, Roger. Are you guys okay? What was that tremor? Okay. Color light surrounds me. The day the plate is taken away, the Chosen One, along a sacred Pokemon, will awaken the red energy, becoming a bastion of hope. Could it be... I was sure there was nothing true in those words, but this means that... Hey, haircut, check your bag. Something is glowing deep red in there. Cloud's odd earring channels the red energy from the terrestrial plate. The energy generated in the terrestrial ring. Listen up, because I'm not going to say it twice. Give that ring to your Pokemon. Uh, put... Give the ring to your starter Pokemon... And put it in the top of your party to continue. Okay. Um, so this is not going to go well. Because my starter Pokemon is only level 9. And I don't know if they make this like a very mandatory thing. Like you have to win. Wait, is that not what it is? Oh, Terrestrial Ring. Okay. Oh, he changes form. So that's what the different form changes were. Has guts now. Are you still a sound type? Yeah. That's unfortunate that I'm not going to really get to see that too. Look, your Pokemon. It drew energy from the terrestrial plate and it strengthened and changed forms. There's no doubt it's the terrestrial evolution mentioned by the legend. I'm really sad I'm not going to get to use that. How are you standing? Pawniard, slice them into pieces. Okay. So I'm a little bit uncertain if this is... Like... If I have to use my starter here. Oh, go. he just... Okay. He just sends right back out. Okay, everyone's full health again. I just... I don't know if I'm... I have to use my starter, like... I feel like that's the way they're trying to do it. I kinda... I don't... I, I really feel like they're like forcing it, you know? Like now they're actually gonna take damage. Yeah. Okay, do I still just die? Okay, good. Okay. So there, that, that's fine. Like, I didn't actually, like, you know, end up really using him, so I think it's fine. Um, I'm use Hermie here. Uh, I think that Halucha is probably just going to... Maybe if he goes for the other one, I could just Fairy Wind. Oh, Fairy Wind only works on one target. Okay. I thought Fairy Wind was dual targeted. I think what I did was fine. Like, there's just... Okay, I, I, I think I see how this goes. It wasn't, like, a ton I could really do, you know? But, like, they basically force you to throw... Ooh, hello, you're learning Heart Stamp? I mean, it's physical, and you're not really that kind of mon, but, like, I don't know, I think it'd be nice to you having a Psychic-type move, too. Alright, there we go. 
I knew you would you would have nailed it, boss. Go go grand balls. Well done, boss. I'd never make it up without make it up. What? I'd never make it up without your help, okay? We did lose, but at least we got our job done here. Roger, Roger, dummies. Okay. It seems the plate lost. It seems the plate has lost all its original color. I've read a lot of books about it, but I've never thought uh, there was any truth in those tales. They've got the very essence of the Earth, of planet Earth, Earth core. The energy enshrined in your earring allows your Pokemon to evolve, and it seems the plate turned into a ring. Probably without that, the evolution does not occur, and the Pokemon stays in its basic stage. Amazing. I hope you see this power in action once again, possibly in my gym challenge. See you later, haircut. Okay. I'm kind of curious if I understood that correctly. Does that mean that in the normal game, your starter Pokemon does not evolve uh, until you get... No, it doesn't. Does it just not evolve and stay in its basic stage except when you evolve it with that ring? That's kind of lame. I thought I have like a bunch of different evolutions. Okay, um, but we're definitely over time, so we're just gonna end this off. Uh, bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.